this video, I'm going to show you how to manually delete your themes um, so you could start fresh and maybe reinstall your themes and or manually delete your plugins as well. If for some reason you cannot delete your themes or delete your plugins if you go to plugins or you can't even log into your website, this is a good video to watch so that you could manually delete them in your control panel. And I'm going to show you how to do that. So sometimes there could be an error or conflict in code or some hosting issue and you may need to just disable or delete some of your themes first just to revert back and start fresh. And I'm going to show you how to do that in this video. So the first thing you want to do is you want to log into your control panel. It depends on who you host with, but I host with HostGator and they give us cPanel. So all I have to do is just type in my domain name forward slash cPanel but if you have somebody else like GoDaddy or some other host you have to log in through their control panel they typically give you that information and after you log in you should see um, let's log in first you should see a file called uh, or a folder called file manager where you can manage all your folders you're gonna see all this other stuff you could ignore that for now but just click on file manager here you're going to log in and again it depends on your hosting environment but typically you're going to see something like uh, public HTML or you're going to see the website name um, like if you're hosting with GoDaddy you'll see the website name otherwise you're going to click on public HTML go ahead and click on that and I we added a whole bunch of other uh, websites on here for testing purposes so if your website is within another folder click on that but let's just say it's your domain name and that's it it's not forward slash anything else if it was forward slash something else like forward slash this or forward slash pro or whatever then we would go into there but if it's not forward slash anything meaning on the domain name up here it doesn't say forward slash anything it just says you that's how you get to your domain name that's how you get to your site without putting a forward slash then don't go into any other folder okay so you want to go in after that and click on and find WP content go ahead and click on that right there once you're in here this is all your WordPress stuff by the way WP content WP means WordPress content and then click on themes and this is how to download themes notice you'll also see plugins we're gonna to get to that as well this is where your themes are right here so go ahead and double click that you're gonna see the tesseract theme right there so let's say for some reason you're having troubles deleting the tesseract theme either you can't log in to your site or whatever um, you could either delete it or rename it here and then re-upload it so the way you do it is just by either right clicking or on a Mac control click and you could click and you could click delete and don't worry about deleting it it's not going to delete your data this is not where your data is stored this is where just the theme stuff is stored and after that we're going to go ahead and we're going to give you the new version of the Tesseract so there may be a problem or error with the older version and it has a conflict and that's why we're going to delete it first to start new and start fresh so let's go ahead and delete that by right clicking and clicking delete and it, it's going to ask you you know are you sure you want to do that um, and then you're going to click that and confirm now it may be different from you know hosting solution to hosting solution but that's typically how to do it then you're left with these themes right here once you do that you should be able to log back in your website so I'm going to log in to your website and if you can't log in I'm also going to show you how to just upload the theme manually on here you could upload the theme here as well if you're still not able to log in but you should be able to log in right here so once you log in you could go to your appearance and then themes right here and you'll notice even like maybe you'll notice you'll see something that says tesseract here and this is a common error you'll see sometimes you'll see that and that means it's maybe not fully deleted or it's still getting deleted within the system and sometimes if you refresh it like I did you'll see it's gone so I just wanted to kind of point that out as well 
Uh, so I just refreshed the page. That's all I did. So now you're just seeing these themes right here. And we want to go ahead and up, upload the new Tesseract theme. So let's just go to the website, the tesseracttheme.com. And let's go ahead and click download theme. So I'm going to do that right now. There you go. I did that. Now notice something else that I, this went to Tesseract one because my computer already has Tesseract on it. So I really don't want that because I don't want to upload Tesseract one. I want to make sure I clear off everything. So I'm just going to delete this right now. And this is a common mistake a lot of people make. And I'm going to delete the old theme or even archive the old theme. Um, in some in some other folder so it doesn't make that one area so I'm gonna clean up this downloads area so it's really clean so you can see what I'm talking about so let's go ahead and download it again there you go and it doesn't say one on it you don't want it to say one you want it to just say tesseract and the reason it said one is because I had another old tesseract uh, theme in my downloads area and you don't want to make a mistake of re-downloading the old theme you want to download the new zip file right here to your website so that's why I did that so let's go back into your theme area right here and let's go and click on add new and then you want to go ahead and click on upload theme and then choose file and then it's in my downloads area where I just downloaded it. Click on that zip file, press open, and install. And then click activate. And there you have it. That's the theme. It's all new and it should work right there. So let's just say you can't still get into this area. Uh, meaning you can't you still can't log in but you want to upload the theme you could do that manually here by uploading the zip file and then unzipping it so that would just recommend I mean that all you have to do is just click on upload and upload the zip file and let's let's refresh this I'm going to show you I'm going to re reload this now you're going to see the tesseract this is again back in the control panel let's go ahead and delete this again I'm going to show you how to manually upload your uh, your theme within this area right here just in case you can't you still can't get into your um, your website so you're gonna click on upload right here you're gonna click select file and you're gonna click the, this one right here you can't just click on that because what it'll do when you press open it'll open up the file folder so you have to actually upload the zip file here so click on that and then it's gonna upload and that should be it. So now that you have that uploaded, you could go back. I think it just made two tabs right here. Or and you could click go back right here. And you're gonna see a zip file. You're gonna need to unzip that by right clicking or on a Mac control click. And then you're gonna have to go to extract. So you want to extract these folders right here. And then click extract files. There you go, extracted all the files in that folder. It's like unboxing something. And then I'm going to refresh this uh, right here by reloading this page. And you're going to see it there. And I don't need this anymore, so I'm just going to go ahead and remove that or delete that right now. So let's delete this one here. Confirm. And then, as you can see, that's how you manually do it. So I just showed you how to manually do it. Now I could go back in here and see that it's there now after I manually deleted it so that's how you manually delete and install um, a theme within your WordPress area I'm sorry within your control panel area now we're gonna go ahead and manually go into your plugins and it's if for some reason you can't delete any of your plugins or you're having errors and stuff you can now manually delete your plugins and you would just do the same thing by going into your control panel the file manager and you would find this area right here you would just go to the file manager and you would navigate and find that wordpress area wp content area again if you have like a subfolder you would go into that subfolder but i'm not i don't have a subfolder that 
we're working with here. Um, we're going to go to WP Content again, and we're going to go under Plugins. And you could manually delete any of these plugins by just clicking on this Max Buttons or whatever you, whatever plugin you want to start deleting by just clicking on it, right clicking, and pressing Delete. And then that should allow you, if you want, you could rename the plugins. And sometimes if you can't log into your website, you, I, I start renaming all these plugins by just right clicking and then press rename and I'll just put one at the end of it. What this does is it kind of deactivates manually that plugin. Sometimes you want to deactivate your plugins because there may be a conflict in plugins. If you're having troubles on your website and you don't know and you can't log into your site, you need to maybe manually either delete or rename your plugins. Then you can name them back and see if that allows you to log into your website if that's the case. So you could, I'm just showing you how to basically either delete or disable your plugins so you could troubleshoot and see which plugin maybe is ca causing you difficulties or causing a conflict within your site that gives you an error. And you would do that within your control panel. Um, you would find that uh, the folder called uh, plugins, just like I showed you, and you would just manually I just simply rename them one by one and then name them back. So I'll just put like, again, right click it and click rename and then press one. And then I would have that renamed. And then I would go back and I would check and refresh the page and see if that worked right there. Then I would go back and say, no, that didn't work. Let me go back and change that back. And then I'll go to the next one and I would rename that one as well, just like that. And you can rename it to whatever you want, but I just made it easy for myself by putting a dash one. So that's it. That's how to manually delete your um, your themes and and manually install your themes and manually delete and install your plugins. And that should fix any issue. If you're still having an issue with your website, can't log in something else that may be having to do with your hosting environment. If you don't have uh, you know any themes active or you don't have any plugins you tested all that then it definitely has to do with your hosting company and you may have to call them up if you did all this all right i hope this helps uh, let us know if you have any other questions